It's so good. Okay, Spencer Watts back with another one of them Black Rock and Treats. See what I did there? I love that song. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna make uh, this really cool snack and it's baked brie with truffle toast and some caramelized onions and some crunchy nuts. So let's get started on the toast while we, while we, shall we? Uh, you can use whatever bread that you want. Uh, I find a nice baguette that's half sturdy is really good. These things are really nice. Uh, and it's okay if it's like a day old or a couple days old because it gets really nice and sturdy. And that's how I like to cut them. Not super thick, but enough so you can get them in the oven and they're like half crunchy and half soft. It's pretty delicious. Uh, honestly, you can use whatever bread you want. Sometimes I wanted baked brie so bad I've used white sliced bread. But if you cut the crust off, you can doctor it up and it makes for pretty good bread. Uh, and so to get the truffle flavor in it is pretty simple. So I like to lay them down on a pan, just like this. Give them some space, some room to wiggle. And then for the truffle butter, I just have some melted butter and some truffle oil. If you don't have truffle oil, it's okay. You can just use like a nice olive oil, do like a blend of olive oil and butter. But truffle is so cool and so woody and you can find this at a lot of grocery stores, but it's pretty intense. It's like a flavor of invasion. So not too much. You just want like that balance of truffle and butter, which makes it really, really good. And then um, that's it. And so the great part about it is a, a crostini is when you load it up. So you wanna get a pastry brush and really soak the bread because I like a crostini when it's half crispy and then the bottom half is kind of soft and chewy. So the more fat that you put on it, that truffle smells delicious. The more fat that you put on it, the crispier and softer the bread will be. So don't be shy with the butter and the truffle. Get it in there. And then I always like on my crostini is to just put a little bit of salt because that height is a natural flavor of everything. And then a couple twists of pepper, because black pepper, cheese, and truffle, they're pretty good friends. Okay, awesome. Bread, done. Uh, and I'm also gonna put some caramelized onions in here. So I just have some onions cooking away. Uh, and these are kind of, have a lot of color to them now. Uh, but I got a way to doctor them up that makes them really fun. So if you put a shot of vinegar in it, balsamic vinegar is really cool because it's nice and tart, but when you cook it, it's, there's a sweetness there, and if you've ever had balsamic production, it's just balsamic vinegar cooked down, all that sugar kind of, kind of makes it really nice and sweet. And then just a shot of honey for a little extra sweetness. So the caramelized onions, and the caramelized onions are dead simple. Just slice up whatever onion you have lying around, cook it slowly, uh, medium high heat, and let it get a lot of nice color. And then I always finish it with a little bit of salt, just to heighten it up, and that's perfect. Okay, so for the brie cheese, this is a wheel of brie cheese. Now you can bake it like this if you want to, but this is kind of fun. This is what I like to do when I bake brie. I cut it up and I'm gonna put the onions in there and when it all melts together, the onions fuse with the brie cheese and I love the rind in there. I love that, the texture of the rind. So get a nice oven proof dish and put the cheese in there, kind of scatter it around a little bit. And then when you lay the onions in and around the cheese, as it all bakes down when you're like pulling it out with that truffle bread, uh, you get cheese and those really delicious onions. I can never bite, it's super cool. And so with those nice dark onions with the balsamic and the honey, just get them in there and push it down. Get it in the sides and the cracks. This is amazing. It's good, it's okay. I put a, There's a little extra color on my onions, but that's fine. There's gonna be some good texture in there. Okay, so the bread and the cheese can go in at the same time, but just watch the cheese and the bread. The bread will probably come out first. And I put my oven at 450, so really nice and hot. Well, in goes the cheese, the middle shelf, and bread on the top shelf. Okay, so I'm gonna make some candy nuts, and my candy nuts are pretty simple. So you want a nice hot pan, and then in the pan at the same time, I'm gonna put like two tablespoons of butter. You wanna see a nice smoke and sizzle, and then a good shot of brown sugar. And that's gonna make like an instant caramel. And then you can use whatever nuts that you have. Uh, I have some pecans, I really like pecans. Um, but you can use whatever nut. Almonds really work. Almonds are nice. 
small nuts are nice. I've done them with pie nuts before, they're pretty cool. And you just wanna let it cook her down a little bit. And the butter is gonna like foam up and get really nice and nutty, but also sweet. And then these nuts are kind of funny because uh, I kind of like drag them through the spice world. So a little bit of vanilla paste, vanilla bean paste. And then lots of spices. Allspice is really like fragrant floral. You find it in jerk recipes a lot. Nutmeg's really good for spice nuts because uh, it adds like a kiss of flavor. And like nutmeg, you smell it and it's got that like Christmas smell to it. Um, cardamom is a really dope uh, dry spice. It's really floral too. You find it in a lot of Indian cooking and then cinnamon. But the blend of all those spices with the sugar and the toasted butter is really, really good. And not too much cinnamon. You just like want a very little amount of a lot of spices. And then a touch of salt. We interrupt this regular scheduled programming for a fire. We're back. <laughs> and this is great. So you just wanna let the nuts cook down like that. And then it makes like a nice little caramel in there. Let it bubble around and the spices are so delicious. All right. Okay, awesome. Let the bread cook. Let the nuts kind of cook down a little bit. Uh, when, when, when it stops foaming, you can kind of pour them out and let the bread harden. So I'm gonna let the cheese cook and I'll be back in like two minutes. Okay, so uh, the bread is out, which is really nice. Uh, and this is what I was talking about. Like it's crunchy, you can hear it, but on the back side, it's still kind of soft. It's like the perfect balance of crunch and soft. That's my favorite way to do a crostini. And then the truffle oil, just a little kiss of truffle oil and butter on it is magical. And then the nuts, just when they're getting cooked down, I just take out the excess butter and then put them on a tray with some foil on it and they're delicious. And they have like this nice sweet spicy crunch to them. Yeah, they're perfect. They're a little dark with the spices, but man, they have a ton of flavor. And for the cheese, check it out. Okay. That's really good. When it's starting to bubble like that, but there's still a little bit of strength left in the cheese, that is delicious. And it smells like onions and it's so good and good. So when it comes out, you can just take a few of the nuts, sprinkle them on top. And so you're gonna get a lot of crunch from the nuts and then the caramelized onions are really nice and savory and that gooey cheese and bread. And then just to finish it, at the end, I like a little orange because the spices go really well with the fragrance of orange. And just to put like a light pop of color on there and a little bit of flavor from the orange kind of highlights the cheese and the fattiness. It's just delicious. So that fresh, you can smell it. As soon as it hits the warm cheese and onions, it kind of like opens up like a flower. So good. And then just stack the bread up. This is a great snack. It's so easy to make. You've got some leftover bread, baked debris. Who doesn't have onions and nuts lying around and some spices? It's just delicious. But this is the best part. So you take a cracker and then you dig into here. Check this out. Yeah, every time you pull it apart, you're going to get cheese and nuts and caramelized onions. And then just on a little truffle cracker. My goodness, that is delicious. It's so good. It's so simple, but the cheese is really nice and creamy. The bread is perfect. It's a great little snack. It's so good. Okay, you guys, I hope you're safe. I hope you're all happy. And if you're ever in a pinch for a great snack, just melt some cheese with some nuts, some caramelized onions, a little bit of bread, and you're in heaven.